approximately two years ago I published this shortwave radio that was made for frequencies between six uh, mega cycles and eight or nine mega cycles and all the schematics are on YouTube and I will give the links to the original schematics but perhaps now it's interesting today to do say a kind of retro video to show what I have made and publish the circuits again of course that could be interesting uh, well uh, this is a more or less classical made radio with a front end that's here with these windings that is the antenna coil consisting of a copper wire um, plastic insulated copper wire one two three four five six seven eight say ten windings with tabs and here is the front end and there is a very very important capacitor and that's here and I will show it uh, in the schematic that is responsible for say the two frequency bands the proper reception of um, radio signals in these uh, two frequency bands say around six uh, mega cycles and around um, eight mega cycles or twelve mega cycles that's very important well let me demonstrate that first here we have a Spanish radio station of course I live in Europe and there are propagation tables uh, on say serious radio websites radio amateurs websites where you can see how good your reception can be will be of course that also depends of course on your antenna how it was made whether you have a good antenna or not but anyway uh, for certain frequency bands shortwave uh, radio frequency bands you had, there are propagation uh, reports published um, um, so that you can say uh, receive certain radio stations on certain moments and for Europe that's often say in the late evening and the night that we read me uh, that I can receive uh, shortwave radio stations out of Eastern Europe especially out of Eastern Europe even from Arabic countries but they are as far as I know approximately in the two to three uh, mega cycles band but anyway and this radio is made for um, approximately um, 6 to 12 MC but anyway so let's listen again Let me tune somewhat. This must be Radio China, no doubt. Always that same music. Here's a somewhat faint radio station. Perhaps with changing the high frequency amplification it will help. And of course this radio has no uh, automatic frequency control and it does not have automatic um, uh, audio control. That means that it suffers of the uh, classical fading. Say that radio stations fade away slowly or very quick or whatever and then come back again on that same frequency. And this is what happens here. Uh, 
台湾的军舰制造的能力，所以提议啊，两岸开战，台湾应该。Now the radio station is somewhat、uh, more fierce. Anyway. So now it weakens. That means there is less capacitance here. I turn that、um, capacitor out, and now I turn that capacitor in. It, you can surely hear that the frequency. That the、uh, sorry that the radio reception gets much better, and even there's a critical point here. So say here, approximately here, it re receives at its best. Anyway, <laughs> tune further. It seems to me this is BBC. I hear the English language. According to the researchers, help humans evolve cognitive abilities. Fine tuning. Always a good idea to say、um, change the input coil, the antenna coil. That's what I'm doing here. I switch it now to higher frequencies, and I can surely say that you could have, can have, very unexpected、uh, effects when you lengthen the antenna coil or when you make it shorter. Uh, when you make it shorter, the inductance is lower, and when you make it the coil longer here, say all the windings, when you shortcut a part of this coil, the inductance gets smaller, so you go to higher frequencies. And well, that's what I wanted to tell. Let's listen. It's more important. And there is 
always say a kind of balance between the high frequency amplification, um, um, whether you set the IF amplifier to a broad or to a small band, uh, whether you use the noise uh, rejection, etc. etc. So, want to code the schematics in a few moments. Dead Radio China. Of course, no problems with that. Uh, you can connect to this coil a, um, a coax cable, uh, an antenna that is uh, working via a coax cable, that's here. The inner side of the coax cable goes to my uh, garden and I have not connected here the, say, the shielding of that cable. So that gives, has given the best results and much more in the earlier videos. This is Dutch by the way, but my videos are on YouTube and every information is there. So, uh, the schematics are here again. I only have say uh, 15 or 5 minutes or 6 minutes, so I cannot uh, tell too much. The first stage is a field effect transistor. Transistor always very important. It has a very high input impedance. Acts like a kind of radio tube. Here are the windings. Two times six windings on that well varnished toilet roll. Uh, that's usable as a uh, antenna shortwave coil for this frequency band. Uh, from the front end it goes to the mixer of course. No frequencies are mixed by the way. Don't worry. We go to schematic 2. Schematic for of that front more or less a drawing of that front end. And here is that critical capacitor. Very, very important to set the this radio to the two uh, separate frequency bands. From say approximately 6 up to 12 megahertz. You set the uh, Amplification, the high frequency amplification, that's here, this potentiometer. Uh, point three, well, uh, I will flip my camera, sorry for that, because my time is limited. Uh, part three, here is the schematic, you can see how I've used a, a relay to switch the IF frequency between broad and small. Say 10 kilohertz wide and approximately say 6 kilohertz wide. In fact very very easy to do. When you do some say first experiments to get a kind of insight. Um, well, perhaps it gets a little bit sloppy now, but anyway, this is the VFO schematic 5 made with a field effect transistor. Always works good. The VFO has to oscillate approximately 455 kilo cycles higher or lower than the frequency that you receive on the antenna coil. Uh, point 0.6 O 
overview of this radio. I think I only have two minutes left. You see how the blocks of the schematics uh, have to be connected. Six, seven, how it was made in practice. And there's much more in the earlier videos and the links are in the description of this video. And here perhaps finally one. The one. Perhaps I have already showed it but anyway. This is a very important, this is the front end. Perhaps my camera will suddenly stop. Sorry for that. I've told more or less everything. Here the antenna coil, 15 picofarad to the antenna. Here again that important antenna coil. Here the field effect transistor of the front end. This is a it is a pre-amplifier, high frequency pre-amplifier. You can set the amplification of that pre-amplifier here. So I think I've showed it all. Go to the earlier videos when you want to know more or contact me. Here uh, again how it was made. Here you see the IF amplifier. These say orange things are the crystal filters. This is the setting the bias of the mixer. Of course nothing is mixed. It's frequency transformation. Here is the power supply. Classical made with a 2 and 3055 to prevent radio noise. This is the VFO, the variable frequency oscillator or the local oscillator in American literature, uh, radio literature. Here the VFO coil. VFO coil must be shielded on all sides to prevent that the radio signal strays out to the antenna coil. Here the front end etc etc. Well it was more or less all by the way the end amplifier audio amplifier approximately one watt could also be two watt minimal minimum is one watt anyway let's listen Of course, radio. Of course, Radio China can be uh, <laughs> received everywhere. So that that's not the best uh, demonstration of this radio. But anyway, thanks for watching.